When the Tao is present in the universe, planes take families on vacation. When the Tao is absent from the universe, warplanes are constructed in the suburbs. There's no greater sin than desire, no greater curse than discontent, no greater misfortune than wanting something for oneself. Therefore, he who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Without going outside, you may know the whole world. Without looking through the window, you may see the ways of heaven. The farther you go, the less you know. Thus, the sage knows without traveling. He sees without looking. He works without doing. In the pursuit of learning, every day something is acquired. In the pursuit of Tao, every day something is dropped. Less and less is done until non-action is achieved. When nothing is done, nothing is left undone. When the ego imposes its ways upon the natural rhythms of life, there's so much doing, yet nothing is done. The world is ruled by letting things take their course. It cannot be ruled by interfering. The sage has no mind of his own. He is aware of the needs of others. I am good to people who are good. I am also good to people who are not good. Because virtue is goodness. I have faith in people who are faithful. I also have faith in people who are not faithful. Because virtue is faithfulness. The sage is shy and humble. To the world he seems confusing. Men look to him and listen. He behaves like a little child. The master gives himself up to whatever the moment brings. He knows that he is going to die and he has nothing left to hold on to. No illusions in his mind. No resistances in his body. He doesn't think about his actions. They flow from the core of his being. He holds nothing back from life. Therefore, he is ready for death. As a man is ready for sleep. After a good day's work. All things arise from Tao. They are nourished by virtue. They are formed from matter. They are shaped by environment. Thus, the ten thousand things all respect Tao and honor virtue. Respect of Tao and honor of virtue are not demanded, but they are in the nature of things. Therefore, all things arise from Tao. By virtue, they are nourished, developed, cared for, sheltered, 
comforted, grown, and protected. Creating without claiming. Doing without taking credit. Guiding without interfering. This is primal virtue. The beginning of the universe is the mother of all things. Knowing the mother, one also knows the sons. Knowing the sons, yet remaining in touch with the mother, brings freedom from the fear of death. Keep your mouth shut, guard the senses, and life is ever full. Open your mouth, always be busy, and life is beyond hope. Seeing the small is insight. Yielding to force is strength. Using the outer light, return to insight. And in this way, be saved from harm. This is learning constancy. If I have even just a little sense, I will walk on the main road and my only fear will be of straying from it. Keeping to the main road is easy, but people love to be sidetracked. When the court is arrayed in splendor, the fields are full of weeds and the granaries are bare. Some wear gorgeous clothes, carry sharp swords, and indulge themselves with food and drink. They have more possessions than they can use. They are robber barons. This is certainly not the way of Tao. What is firmly established cannot be uprooted. What is firmly grasped cannot slip away. It will be honored from generation to generation. Cultivate virtue in yourself, and virtue will be real. Cultivate it in the family, and virtue will abound. Cultivate it in the village, and virtue will grow. Cultivate it in the nation, and virtue will be abundant. Cultivate it in the universe, and virtue will be everywhere. Therefore, look at the body as body. Look at the family as family. Look at the village as village. Look at the nation as nation. Look at the universe as universe. How do I know the universe is like this? By looking. He who is filled with virtue is like a newborn child. Wasps and serpents will not sting him. Wild beasts will not pounce upon him. He will not be attacked by birds of prey. His bones are soft, his muscles weak, but his grip is firm. He has not experienced the union of man and woman, but is whole. His manhood is strong. He screams all day without becoming hoarse. This is perfect harmony. Knowing harmony is constancy. Knowing constancy is enlightenment. 
it is not wise to rush about. Controlling the breath causes strain. If too much energy is used, exhaustion follows. This is not the way of Tao. Whatever is contrary to Tao will not last long.